This is Optimus Prime, and you are listening to The Masters of None. Masters of None with Mike J and Art. Masters of None. Boop. Hey everybody, this is Scoob J. Fry from Futurama. This is Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah, this is Moda Bartender, and you're listening to the Masters of None. The Masters of None. I checked them out. They're very funny guys. Masters of None. A comedy podcast that doesn't suck. Um, not sure what it means, but that's why I'm going to keep listening until I find out. Over and out. Masters of None. Masters of None. Masters of None! Danger Zone! What's up, everyone? Art Evans here for Hot Mons. It's the podcast with hot questions and even hotter wings. We're doing a two for Tuesday here. We've got two guests. We've got Jay and Mike from the Masters of None podcast. How you doing, gentlemen? How are ya? I'm scared. Great to be here for now. I'm nervous. <laughs> Before before we do anything, let me just I gotta take this uh, this medication real quick. <laughs> it is uh, the cyclamine. I don't know what that does, but helps me. Sounds better than no cyclamine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Nice. I got so, my gloves on. You guys are obviously uh, fans of hot ones. Yes. And you know what this show is about. What are you like the? Uh, I'll get into that later. But is there anything you want to introduce yourselves um, about, like a little, you know, introduction about your podcast? But we should say real quick. So this will be an audio podcast of our of our podcast, Masters of None. This is a pod pastiche where we do our show in the format of another show, and we have the Hot Ones season thirteen Buffalo Wing Challenge hot sauce set. So it's for this is going to be. You can watch this on YouTube as well. The full video. But for people listening, there's 10 different sauces. If you're not familiar with hot ones, uh, the guy interviews celebrities while they eat hot wings, 10 of them, and they get hotter and hotter and hotter as it goes on. So we have the set that they used on season 13 of the show. 10 different wings. 10 I got it for me birthday. Oh, yeah, Mike got the set. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing while Art interviews us, asking questions. He doesn't have the wings. Usually the host eats the wings too. But since Art's in North Carolina, we're in New Jersey here together in the studio. Mike and I, we're going to eat the wings and Art will play the host role, asking us the questions while we eat these ridiculously, increasingly hot chicken wings. So that was a good answer to your question about introducing your podcast, because that's exactly what we, Jay just did. Yep. Nice. There you go. Cool. Um, so the first two questions, just so our listeners and audience are aware, are from Jay and Mike. And then the, le- the, the next ones, the next eight are from me. They have no idea uh, these questions. I didn't give it to them at all before. And we are going to do a last dab uh, as well after the 10 questions. So, gentlemen, are you ready to rock and roll? Let's do it, baby. Let's go. Okay. You talk. Okay. Do the first. Uh, describe what you're taking uh, the first sauce is. First hot sauce. Oh, guys. Oh, <laughs> my computer. Jesus. <laughs> this is the hot ones. The classic. The classic hot sauce. Just the basic. Here's looking up. Right. Here's looking up your address. Cheers. Are sir. you just doing? Are you just doing a, a dab? No, no these, these are coated. These are coated. We coated each one. <laughs> We're not messing around here. We're fucking. Is this stupid. from Bonton or Macy's <laughs> wings? Which ones are these, these? These are from a bar across the street. And make really good wings. Nice. They're probably really good. An hour and a half when Mike picked them up. Sweet. All right. This is a question that Jay posted to me. What major corporation would you be happy to sell out to if they wanted to sponsor our podcast? Mike, you go first. Oh, I got to answer that one first? Yeah. Well, we both answer. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, like, what's the worst one you'd, you'd sell out to? The worst one yeah. you sell out to? Like, think uh, about the major corporations and how evil some of them are. Think about the the worst one you'd be like, all right, let's just take their money. Access chemicals? No. Um <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Joker products. This is like nothing yeah. now. This is like a mild. This sauce, this is great. Way. This this yeah. sauce is good on eggs. It's really good. Um, that's like level zero. Yeah, I got gloves on. I honestly would say, like, I I would love I would love if we could sell sell out to any any <laughs> corporation. By the way, but yeah, I think like probably like Facebook 
<laughs> would be like the evilest one. Oh, so I'm going to try to not drink anything, even though I want to just drink beer, just because I want to drink beer. Oh, I was going to do that. Yeah, can I do, still do well, that? I think it's kind of like right. cheating on the hot sauce side of it. So I'm going to see how long I go without drinking anything. If I Paul just, Rudd can do it, you know, we should all aspire to something. All got, right, so you said Facebook. Jay, how yeah, about Yeah, I would yourself? say Facebook, most evil one. I mean, I'd go I'd... as evil as like a McDonald's. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> or like a Clear Channel, like our old radio. <laughs> If our old radio <laughs> company wanted to be like, hey, come back, come back and uh, do it. Although they have that, they have their own podcast network, right? Yeah, yes, iHeartRadio. Radio. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you want to give us I money? Heart Media. No, it's not radio anymore. It's iHeart Media, please. Yeah, because radio is dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd take their money. Put, us, put our podcast on there. That chicken is stuck in my teeth. But I would love to be have like, you know, Taco Bell would be awesome. That'd be like my dream sponsorship. Dream? Oh, yeah. How about you for dream? Um, Rolos. <laughs> Rolos? What Rolos. Is oh, Rolos. Rolos. Rolos are great, man. That's awesome. <laughs> They're a whole roll of smile. Yeah. I don't know. No, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what a good one would be. Uh, I mean, I, I, you know. How about Yamaha? There you go. There you <laughs> okay. go. Nice. Like the motorcycle company or the speaker people? They do everything. That's they do the same They do drums. They do... They do musical instruments. They do motorcycles. They do, like, they, they do the wow. weirdest combination of things. Huh. All right. Yeah. Cool. So I'll All do right. that. Nice. All right. Second one. Let's do this. Second this, one. This what's the question? is going to be the from sauce? Mike, but. Second one. Sauce. This is a Sinai Gourmet Tropical Hot Sauce Tropicuante. 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 Now, these are all the same wings you, you have, right? Yep. Wings are the same, sauces are different. Okay. This is like a yellow, like a yellow sauce. Is it mellow? <laughs> All right. This question is from Mike. And he said, if you had to do one live show over again, what would it be and what would you do different? Jay, this goes to you first. Now, what do you mean by live show? Whether we are out and about uh, pressing the flesh and kissing babies or... If we were just doing it like, you know, in my kill room back in the day in New Jersey or... Like all the live shows place. we did. Other or just the podcast. Yeah. Oh. Mm. I don't know. I can't think of any that I haven't, like, enjoyed. Yeah. I mean, they're always the most fun when we're all together. Right. Um, do one over again? I don't know. Obviously, you must have a good one since this is your question. Yeah. I, let's hear yours. Maybe they'll spark something on me. <clears throat> I, knowing what we know now, I would love to do Comic Con over again. Mm, okay. Oh, because I mean, we we killed it. That was like if we were ever in the sweet spot of like something before it got too big. Yeah, it was fucking <laughs> Podcast Alley at New York Comic Con in 2010 when we had the prime, the biggest prime real estate <laughs> ever, and like podcasts were just becoming a thing. And not to mention, art like went fucking balls to the wall and got like some great fucking prizes like think geek just took a shit all over <laughs> and got all, all, oh, all and of they're our no stuff. longer around Isn't that i sad? know it sucks i love them i love them um are they gone Is it, they, even they got anymore? bought by somebody right yeah, really. they bought they bought but they got bought out by gamestop and then they started doing think geek stores in around the country and yeah, then those, they had those for a second and then <laughs> GameStop uh, engulfed them. <laughs> they they were no longer like, oh, some of the stuff is hidden on their GameStop website. Go find it. Uh, and it was just like, sucks. all of our products, all the merch, like the fun Think Geek merch is now GameStop. <laughs> so there sucks. you go. But like we had so much, we had so many great prizes that we gave away and we did those that. Chairs. Those chairs. Those, yeah, those chairs. And we did that scavenger hunt that I think that like was nobody was doing that other that movie tried to do it remember that danny mcbride movie or whatever tried to do it yeah. and they fucking sucked it up and we killed at it i would love to just go back and do more because i like like yeah, except they want said, they want like big money now oh that. that's what i'm saying <laughs> yeah we had back prime then estate, go yeah. back to 2010 yeah, i think we killed it for what we had oh we yeah, absolutely we did. I think we also were ahead too, of our time was it mike that said like during the convention they came down and be like Wait, we gave them this spot? Yeah. <laughs> I just, I, yeah, I, yeah, I would just like to go with, with everything that we know now, like with all the knowledge that we know now, go back to 2010 and redo that podcast over again. I would fucking love to do that. 
man. That would be great. I'll go with that. Too. <clears throat> nice. All right. All right. Number three. This is uh, micro saucery pico peppers, pico rico, piri piri style hot sauce. Whatever all that means. This is delicious. This one. It's a whole lot of jargon right there. That last one, too, by the way, was nothing as well. It's like okay. mild to medium tops. All right. So you guys are eating food and talking to your listeners, doing some research and listening to some of your archival podcast episodes. I know that you guys love doing ones with food in them. So leading up to tonight's recording, you guys have been doing research on how to make sure you guys can make it through this challenge. You got your milk, you got your Tums, you got your uh, Dipsy Talk side, flip side uh, on the west side <laughs> that you just took. Which food or drink would you love to pair with tonight's challenge, and which food would you hate to pair with tonight's challenge that we've done in the past? Well, I'd love to be drinking beer right now, but I mean, beer and wings are like the ultimate food for me. Wait, from a show that we've done in the past? From a show we've done a food? Well, it's got to be a food, not a drink. Can be a food, fine. Can be a drink. That's fine. Yeah. I'm saying a food or drink. Which would you love to pair with this uh, challenge, and which food or drink that we've done in the past that you would not like to pair with this challenge? I would say I probably would need savory. So I'm gonna go like the hostess, <laughs> like when we did <laughs> like the off. like the snack off the hostess chant, like the hostess, hostess first fruit pies versus little Debbie. Yeah. I think if we had like a if I had like a spackle bucket full of fruit pies here, I don't think any of these I don't think any of these uh, hot sauces would hit me because that that would just like sop all that shit up and I would just it would like that be that warm apple pie lava that just slides down your throat. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean I, I have a, an open beer here that I was already drinking before and I just want to drink more of it. Uh, we've done plenty of beer shows. What would I not want to pair with it? Um. Absinthe? I, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I would prefer to not be drinking absinthe while I'm eating hot wings. That's a great, great answer, Art. Yeah, I was also going to say, like, uh, I don't know. We, didn't we do, like, Burger or, King, Wendy's? Do you remember? Burger King, Wendy's, we or at, McDonald's. Would you, oh, maybe maybe this beer or this concoction that you made, Jay, with uh, the, the um, Cookie Crunch cereal, it was like a milk stout, maybe that would help you. But do you remember you made that concoction at that one place in, in New York? It was like that new like yeah, we, distillery. The live show we did in Newburgh, in Newburgh yeah. Brewery. Yeah, some of those beers were pretty bad that we made. Remember, we would like dump stuff in them and then let everyone taste them. Like we did uh, everything yeah. bagel one and yeah. all those weird ones. We had two that were good. Yeah. Two that were good. I think the, you did like a cereal one. Art did a cereal one, like a Fruit Loops one or something. That was a Cookie, cookie Crunch. Jay did that one. Cookie, cookie Crunch. Crisp, yeah. All right, this one starts. Yeah. So something is happening to me, by the way. Uh-oh. I'm still good. That was still tasty, the third one. It feels like I rubbed it on, but I didn't touch my nose, but it feels like it rubbed it on. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Is it like if you were living in the Northeast right now, as you go out, well, you guys are, you go out when it's super cold and your uh, nose hairs stand yeah. up because it's so cold? Is that I'm going to feel No, it's outside. It's like on the side of my nose. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I Yeah. At that point, they usually say, whatever you feel, rub that part into your eye. I'm going to sweat a <laughs> lot during yeah, this so part, nice. so just so you know. Okay. <laughs> Watch me glisten, baby. All right, number four. What sauce are you guys trying out? Four. Number four is Los Calientes Barbacoa Hot Sauce. This is another Hot Ones uh, branded one. I feel like I've heard people on the show say they like this one a lot. I'm yeah, gonna, this one's like... it's like a little smoky. This one's like a barbecue sauce. Hell yeah. It's just a spicy barbecue sauce or whatever. Mmm. Feeling good? Yeah. All right. Jay, you can go first with this one, and then Mike, you can follow. You guys all worked in radio. You all had moments with uh, a celebrity. Which encounter would you like to have changed or even stretched out with that interaction, maybe to have more time that day or a long-lasting relationship from your time in radio? So take, like, a bad interaction and make it good? You can make it. You can take a bad interaction and make it even go even further because I know you love <laughs> awkward interactions. Oh yeah. Or was there a time where you know you guys were working in radio, at an event, and the person seemed super cool, and you'd be like, if if things were different, and they'd be like, hey man, after this gig, why don't you come out and hang out at you know so and so or you know whatever the case may be. But 
can be good, bad, ugly, whatever. But Jay, you go first. Is there an encounter with a celebrity that you would love to stretch out a little bit longer, even uh, have a long lasting relationship with? I mean, I think me and Jay-Z could have been friends if he didn't give me the Alfonso <laughs> into the wall. <laughs> We're both named Jay. Why can't we be friends? <laughs> both like hip hop. I mean, your both from Brooklyn. <laughs> and I feel like everything was set up for a, a cool relationship. But then he had to, you know, grab me and throw me into the wall because I was in him and Denzel Washington's way at the 4040 Club. I mean, yeah, I was probably drunk. Get out of Denzel's way, dude. Standing there with my jaw on the floor. <laughs> but what are you going to do? It was the, it was the Clear Channel holiday party in New York City. And I think he had just signed uh, his deal with, uh, what was it, Def Jam or something? Yeah. Where he became like the hippity-hoppity CEO guy or whatever. Hippity-hoppity. You know, whatever. I think his wings are turning me into my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the vapors. Oh, wait a minute. This was Barbara Coer, my grandmother. Oh, God. It's my, gra- it's my grandmother's name. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, Barbara. Um... I mean, honestly, I've I've had better celebrity interactions on this podcast than I did in radio. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm talking about radio. Okay. Um, God, I want beer so bad, but I know. not because it's spicy. I just I want beer. Uh, I will say that uh, when I was interning at Sirius with Opie and Anthony, the one celebrity that came in that I was like, oh my God, I just want to fucking hang out and talk with you forever is uh joel mckell nice. okay nice he's he's a very handsome man in person too oh, yeah. by the way <laughs> handsome man on tv too he is so nice. yeah i would say i'll say that i'll say that cool although Wait. if you okay no but it was ra- yeah, radio Never did mind. you talk to him at all or not really, not really no yeah. I, you know it was the usual hey how you doing <laughs> yeah so yeah i'll say that okay yeah, cool is, this is getting to me now already. yeah already because it's piling on top of each other. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Piling I'm still good. I'm still like, give me more of all those. Yep. I wish their I wings really were really want to rub my face. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number five? Yes, number five. Oh, boy. This what one's frightening. Eating? This one's just like a lick, like a... It's, it's like, like a vinegar. A syrup. Yeah. Fly by Jing. Not traditional, but personal. Szechuan gold. Super spicy and extra tingly oil for setting your taste buds alight. This one is... Very, very good on uh, Chinese food. It's racist, Mike. It is. No. All right. The oh, viscosity yeah. frightens me. These wings are so bad, dude. <laughs> I, like dried out and shit in your oven, I think. They're better when they're warm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mike, you go first on this one. What is the strangest moment you've experienced in your life, and how has it shaped you and your outlook in life? Hmm. Wow. Strangest moment? Yep. Um, and while you're thinking about this, the reason why I ask is yeah. obviously in this podcast, in radio, or just, you know, just trying to be fu- like, not trying to be funny, but just sharing funny anecdotes, funny, funny stories on this podcast. Yeah. Or just with friends. We always have that moment where we look back on and be like, that was such a crazy ass time. And man, like I, you kind of wonder like how that shaped you or just your view out on your, your outlook on life. So, and then you guys have some. Yeah. Crazy I, zany I would, moments. I would say, I, I would say a crazy moment uh, for me was, I think I've told this story before. <clears throat> I was dancing <laughs> on top of a stage um getting let yeah, I, there was there were two times and they're both they both happened in LA and they both had to do with dancing for some reason. One of them was, was dancing on a, a conga line with Charo <laughs> in the middle of a concert <laughs> on stage. Just like because I was worked in the, at the radio station, she just grabbed everybody from backstage and was like, "Get in this conga line." We were like, "Okay." Um, that was pretty crazy. And then the other one was same radio station, like dancing on top of a stage for um, the uh, West Hollywood Halloween Halloween parade, which uh, is I, I'll just like it. Just op- everything just opened up where I was just like, you know what? Who cares? Like every, everybody, like you know what I mean. Like it just changed my life in that I just started 
not giving a shit as much about stupid things and being trivial and 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 fucking hating things that I didn't had no reason to hate, you know, just being angry all the time. Like that kind of like started to change me right there. I'll I'll all say right. that. Cool. Jay. I think for me probably working this was like a definite like what am I like what is happening here and how is this real? Was working on the warp tour. So I, I did the warp tour working for Yuhu. And our job was to go around the country on the warp tour, which is like a national, you know, punk rock festival. And there was like five of us in a giant RV box truck and our job was to drive these vehicles and set up like a whole yoohoo compound at every festival stop and then we'd we'd have tons of yoohoo and we just had like local like kids they hired that would just come and just pour yoohoo all day long just free you free you all day long all day long and our job was just like make sure you know they had cold yoohoo and watch them and then just to give away stuff they were just like you guys just like make this like the funnest place in the right. whole thing just get kids here and having a good time and give away yoohoo stuff Right. And dude, the things kids would do for free Yoohoo stuff was absolutely insane. We had Yoohoo chugging contests till kids were vomiting. Like we had like a six pack challenge, like who could chug a whole six pack of Yoohoo. We had like it just escalated and escalated. There were kids like we were like we just got to the point where like, well, what would you do for this Yoohoo work shirt? And just we didn't even have to think of things. The kids would just like do stuff. <laughs> At some point, some kid poured a uh, Yuhu on a table, pulled his bare ass out, sat in the puddle, and then his friend took a straw and started slurping the Yuhu oh off God. the table. <laughs> and we we're just like, what? It's like, no, stop. You both win. Stop it. <laughs> and uh, it was that point when I'm like, I'm like, that dude probably had some shitting chocolate water later on that day. <laughs> oh, for Good sure. God. But that was just oh. like, I was like, what a cool world where I could get paid to do the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen. Just stand here and watch this. And I'm making like pretty good money yeah, <laughs> for doing this. And I kind of learned to just like embrace weird opportunities. Like if someone wants to hire you for something bizarre or like if you think yeah. there's a job that might exist, like or even if it doesn't exist, like go ahead and just try and make do it for the story. Do it for the, absolutely do it for the story. Number one, for <laughs> sure. for even just taking that gig. Yeah. 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 Do, just try anything once. Just. Simple, let things unfold and realize you can get paid for doing the dumbest stuff. <laughs> nice. Love it. Good answers, gentlemen. Um, so we're at midway through the sauces. How are you all feeling right now? I'm great. I would eat another five of all those. Are both outside of your nostrils, Mike, uh, giving you the business? I f it feels like I have chap lips a little bit. Okay. If it only gets as double as hot as this, I'm in. I'm great. I'm in great shape. Okay. All right. I don't now think it, I think it's going to get way worse, but this What's, is number six. Yep. Hot sauce with scotch bonnet. Uh oh, here come the hiccups. Carolina Reaper, turmeric, ginger root, chocolate, ghost pepper. Oh, I think this oh, is where things are going to start to get difficult. Honduran hard liquor, chili lengua de fuego, turmeric bomb. Chili lengua de fuego. I hate turmeric too. Here it comes. Yeah, this nice. is, I think, where it's going to get. Turmeric's difficult. good for you, boy. Here it comes. Oh, boy. All right. Jay, you answer this first. You guys all joke on your podcast, Masters of None, that Hollywood takes a joke, an idea, or even a podcast um, from you guys. If you could have one person or company or show personally thank you for the idea that they came up with that idea, joke, or podcast, who would you want to single you out and say thank you? Whether they bring you on a podcast show or <laughs> whatever idea you had, they wanted to personally thank you for inspiring them. Jay? Mm. Jay, who would you go with? God. That one was good, too. I'm still happy over here. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> um, an idea that got stolen from us. Um, how about Aziz Ansari? Just uh, thanks to us for the name for his Master of None TV show. This comes on our show. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah. Yep. Cool. We just took your name and, and ran with it. And all the other like rip off masters of none people who uh, have come after us. And just like, yeah, we're just gonna start a podcast called Masters of None. Like, wait, it's already a good name, right? <laughs> all you gotta do is type it in there and it'll yeah. pop right up. I right. don't know why you think that's okay. <laughs> These fucking people. <laughs> like, what are you doing? You, you, that's not how this works. Like uh, it's the most basic thing. You just type it in. Does right. anybody have is there a Masters of None podcast? Oh yeah, there is one. Okay, so never mind. Else. <laughs> we'll just do it anyway. <laughs> but you got to love the fact that there was a little bit 
I wouldn't say retribution, but <laughs> people are like, oh, I love at Masters of None on Twitter, and we're like, oh, thanks so much for listening. What was your favorite episode? <laughs> oh, it was my that was my favorite. Was answering those guys. <laughs> yeah, people trying to talk to the TV show. Yeah, and then us just answering as if we were them. Yep. I'm not going for a drink, but I'm going for the tums. Uh-uh. Only because I, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta soften the beach. All right, do it. I ate some okay. mac and cheese beforehand, hoping it'll so stomach I. a little bit. Did you? Yeah. All right, Mike. I'm who so would, great, though. Is there a person, show, person, place, or thing that you would like to recognize Masters of None show for that said idea? Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He waits till you ask him the question to eat the tums. I'm gonna get angry oh. for a second because oh. so, this hot sauce is gonna make me angry. <clears throat> All the fucking dickheads at Red Letter Media. What's Red Letter like? What? It's, it's them complaining about movies and being all cynical and fucking horseshit. And that was like the, our, our first three seasons before we finally grew up. And like they're still doing it because they're a bunch of <laughs> fucking fat losers. <laughs> so fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> well done nice all right numbers the seventh sauce what is it number seven <clears throat> funkin hot karma sauce cosmic disco hot sauce okay that was sweat. my first sniffle right there sweat's coming guys I'm starting to break a slight sweat i don't know if i can eat the whole wing you guys have been eating the whole wings this whole time, though, right? I have. Yeah. Nice. All right. I may have to stop doing that. Mike, if you could be a secondary character in your favorite movie or make up a character in your favorite movie, who would it be and why? <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> um, would you say be one or make one up? You could either be a secondary or tertiary character or make one up in your favorite movie. Who would it be and why? All right. That was the first legit hot one. <laughs> I would be... <laughs> I'd be I, uh, see some, I see some sweat, Mike. <laughs> I see some sweat. Hold on. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh boy. <clears throat> I would be George McFly. Why? Because he ultimately gets the girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of doing a great impression of him right now. And For those listening uh, through the audio uh, medium, go to our YouTube page and check it out. You'll understand why. Yeah. <laughs> Fast forward to about the 27 minute mark. Nope. I'm going to go for it. Sorry. Uh, he's going milk. <clears throat> I th- I'll say this stick me in um, Star Wars uh, episode one. And the minute Jar Jar opens his mouth, I slice his head off with a lightsaber. <laughs> oh, it's still on my lips. It's still um, on my lips. I'm uh, give me a good Jedi name, Art. Can I be Darth Idiot? <laughs> no, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> but like, he's like, oh, Misa! <laughs> and I just slop his head right off. Okay, okay. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> I get that, but talking. And I'm like, no, I'm from the future. <laughs> <laughs> I knew how much people would hate you. <laughs> but your favorite movie, come on now. Who, me? Yeah, I don't think your favorite movie is Phantom. Oh, it has to be my favorite movie? Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, why I was trying man. to oh, okay. back to the future somebody. Ooh. I would be... Um, no. Oh, no, the fucking bomb one's next. I would be in Caddyshack, but I would be a secret... I would add. It, I would be my own character. I would be a guy who just breeds gophers and secretly lets them loose on the course. <laughs> <laughs> that's genius. <laughs> I roll up at night on a golf cart and I just like open up a trap and like let out more gophers just so we can get more Bill nice. Murray in the movie. Nice. I'd be I'd be gopher Gus. <laughs> gopher Gus. 
how you pick up then that's how you pick up your phone go for gus go for gus <laughs> go for go for gus oh nice all right uh mike and jay we're at number eight the eighth song right <laughs> oh, now no. this is uh the bad one here da bomb evolution this is the uh the one that always uh <sighs> it's like infamous this is where it gets this is really difficult huh it's got a radioactive thing on it or no yeah yeah it's a radioactive bomb this is the one that everybody talks about. I'm just going to take one bite of this to start. Jay, have you like, drinking anything yet or no? What's that? Did you Have you drinking anything? No, no. I'm still good, man. Like, got a little yeah. sweat going. I've recovered from the one before it, but I think this is where it's going to start to suck. I wow. think Mike's mac and cheese broke. <laughs> All right. Jay, you can answer this first. No matter the profession you had or uh, through your current job right now, is there a moment that you would change that could affect your career and that might have been a life changer for what you'd have done differently? Well, say it one more time. I was just trying to concentrate on getting that down as quickly as I can. <laughs> no matter the profession, it could be a past job or your current job right now. I did the whole thing. You did? You did the whole thing. You're brave, Good job. So. Let's would go. You what would you change? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Art. Let's go. Let's change... go. <laughs> <laughs> that could affect your career that might be a life changing moment and what and what would you have done differently um so Woo! in radio i had the opportunity <laughs> this is definitely like a crossroads moment um <laughs> right after howard stern went off the air <clears throat> excuse me uh they split up all the stations when he went to satellite so yeah. adam carolla got all the west coast stations david lee roth got all the East Coast stations, and then the Midwest went to this guy named Rover in Chicago. And that was like right after my daughter was born. I was working, for, doing my morning show with you guys, working for this morning show prep service, which is basically, they you, you sign up, these lame morning shows sign up for this service, and basically everything's delivered to them to do their show. Like jokes, bits, audio clips, like literally everything. Premiere. You pay, you, yeah. Well, it wasn't premiere, it was a different one. But I worked for that because <clears throat> I was already doing the work anyway. So I was basically just getting double paid on top of doing our show because I was just taking the content I was creating and just reselling it to this other guy, which was sweet. But having all that content and everything and doing my show, the guy who was the guy Rover in the Midwest, he was out of Cleveland. They were going to move him to Chicago and he was going to get all the whole Midwest, all of Howard Stern's old stations. I almost <sighs> drooled a little bit because my mouth's watering. Um, so anyway, I sent him a packet. They were looking for a head writer. Uh, sent him a packet. He loved it. He was like, yeah, can you fly out here and like sit in, come for an interview and then like sit in on, on a show? I'm like, yeah, like friggin' pay for my plane ticket, got on the plane the next day, went out to the this studio and then, uh, kind of sit, I, I get there and they, they put me in like a studio next to their studio. I'm like, I don't even get to sit in the studio. And I'm just basically like typing lines to them like via instant messenger and uh, AOL instant messenger. So as I'm just sitting there listening and I'm just like typing him jokes and lines to say, and he's using them, and everyone's laughing and stuff. I'm like, all right. He offers me the job, and it was just like, wow. So do I like take this leap and move to Chicago with, you know, my wife at the time and my daughter who was just born, and like go try and make a thing, you know, go try and do this, so like be part of this big syndicated show, or do yeah. I kind of like stay in New Jersey and then eventually just get the hell out of radio because I saw the downhill slide that was already happening. And eventually I decided not to do it. One, I didn't really want to move to Chicago. Had I known Chicago was awesome, I might have considered it even more. Because I went to Chicago later. I was like, yo, Chicago is awesome. It is. And I know. It's really awesome. It's almost better than New York in a way. Um, but I didn't believe in the radio show. I thought the show sucked. And I was like, I don't even think, like, I don't believe that this is going to really be anything. And he ended up, he's still on the air, but I think he he kind of failed in Chicago I think he lost most of the stations in the Midwest and he moved back to Cleveland and is just like a local guy again. Okay. So I was kind of right in a way. I could have still been there, but like the show never blew up anywhere bigger than it is. Like it's not on New York, it's not in LA. It just kind of got, got slightly bigger when, and went back to Cleveland and I would have been miserable in Cleveland anyway. So maybe taking that leap, but maybe not. But that was definitely a big moment that maybe if I, I might have considered doing it. Had I known Chicago was awesome. I, I would have been more <laughs> more <laughs> tempted to do it. And I'm going to keep drawing the story out because I just like why your mic suffer. <laughs> I tried to make it as long as I could. Nice. All right, Mike, go ahead, man. <laughs> I hope you're going to make it. 
I honestly, what was the question? I, don't really, I honestly really don't know what you said. Hercules, Hercules. No matter the profession that you've had, whether it's your current job or a past job, <laughs> was there a moment that you would change that could maybe affect your career that would be a life-changing moment? <laughs> um, that one wasn't too horrible. I was expecting way worse. Granted, I ate half of it. I took like one huge bite instead of the whole thing. But I was expecting way, way, way worse out of that. So feeling good. Like a missed opportunity, you mean? Maybe a missed a, opportunity or just something that you could have went down path. Like a, like a crossroads. It was like a big crossroads yeah. in your life where you could have taken a different road and your life could have been way different. Speaking of crossroads in Cleveland, that's where Bone Thugs is from. <laughs> I could. I mean, I could have easily stayed in California. <clears throat> bone, 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 bone. <laughs> I could have stayed in. I could no, stayed in nothing. California. I could have. I probably would have married a different girl. I probably would have. Uh, uh, yeah, had probably had some some kind of different career path, for sure. Um, might have been in radio for a lot longer, actually, because I was already there. God. <laughs> and Jay, can you give Mike a hug? No, please don't touch me. I'll give it. If you need me to like uh, wipe some tears from your eyes, Mike, I can. Too bad, it's not, too bad there's no snow outside. Stick my face in it afterwards. You'd never be able new... to come up that driveway though, so it's a good sure. thing. You but yeah, I face I, in the ice bowl thing people are doing. I think it would be, um, yeah, stay. I mean, when I decided to leave, it was because I had no money. <laughs> I had no money, and uh, I was just really missing a lot of crap here uh yeah with my siblings and stuff and that's why that's uh, that's really the main reason why i left and came back oh um but if i would have stayed because <laughs> i was going out with a girl when i left i was still going out with a girl when i left and i probably would marry her okay so <laughs> huge crossroad right there for you yeah big crossroad but it worked Can out. You, Everything worked out great. Yes, yes Except it did. for my face now being we're on here. fire. Now we're here and you're <laughs> sucking on like hot wings. There you go. All right. Number nine. Can you make it? Yeah. Number nine, baby. Uh, Smoke and Ed's unique garlic hot sauce. It's garlic. It goes good with Welch's grape juice. Okay. Have some tablets of garlic. Right? Wasn't that a Larry King sponsor? I don't know. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, that's all for you guys. I want to get to Mike level. All right, Mike. Yeah. What motivates you more? Success, oh! je jealousy, <laughs> pride, anger, competition, or money? Wow. Give me those options again. Those are great. Su success, jealousy, pride, anger, competition, or money? I'm going to go back and eat the rest of my number eight. Okay. I'm gonna say <laughs> someone's just doing the Deion Sanders primetime dance into the end zone right now. I just want to say <laughs> I'm gonna say a combination, okay, of success, success, and anger. Okay, can you expand on that? Sure. I <laughs> <laughs> have had a number of jobs. That have made me very angry because they don't listen to me, right? I never felt like there's a lot of jobs that I've had or never felt I got the shot to garner some respect and <clears throat> make some decisions. I can't, I will, I will absolutely say that that is not the case now. And, and I have been able to come up with ideas uh, come up with, you know, things that I want to accomplish. And everybody at my job currently is like, yeah, go ahead. That's great. Sounds awesome. Let's do it. Whereas a lot of jobs I've had in the past, I've tried to speak up and I get glossed over, absolutely ignored or, you know, uh, ideas stolen from type of thing. Right. Okay. So I would say success because, 
when something happens and it works, nothing motivates you to do more. Um, but I would also say anger in that understanding that I was not being listened to made me angry enough to leave those jobs and find something that I, I can uh, actually be respected at. So that's good. Nice. Jay? What was it one more time? What motivates you more? Success, jealousy, pride, anger, competition, or money? Uh, in what? Just like in work or in life? Just Whatever. In life in general. I mean, in work, money motivates me the most for sure. Um, I think in life, it's pride. Um, just being good at things, like being a good person and being yeah. proud of that. It's, I think that's all I need, really. doesn't cost anything to be nice. Yeah. I'm it's not, like... It's not hard. It's not hard art. The more you know. Not hard. Yep. Um, but yeah, just pride. Like, yeah, I'm... I'm overall a good person, I'm doing a pretty good job with my kids and with life and work, having a cool. good time. So awesome. I'm, I'm I'm proud of that. Nice. All right. But work so gets let me, money. <laughs> let, let me ask you guys this. Do you want to do the 10th wing right now and the question, or do you want to do the 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 last? It's got a little activity for us. Dab, Mike. which you can promote whatever the hell you want to promote, and there's you have to do an activity. I don't care. Let's do the last dab and then do the activity. Okay. And the question. All right. So you want to do last dab. You give us the act- question while we eat it, and then we'll do the activity. Okay. Cool. All right. This is it. First, we feast. Hot ones. The last dab. Apollo. Made with Apollo pepper. And they put you put a little last dab on it, yeah? And we put a little last dab on it. It's, the sauce is already on it. And then as is tradition. It, you shake it. Yeah. You got to shake it up as they do on the show. Put a little extra dabby dab on here. Ooh. Oh, you did it now. Oh, no. <laughs> you done did it now. Yikes. That's a <laughs> lot. You got me getting the vapors already, and I'm all, I'm all like, how many Dude, I got to say, these are, these are, have, this whole thing has been weak sauce so far. I hope this one makes me like cry and vomit. You're, you're I like hot sauce. Like, I thought this was going to be way worse. Cap, please? Yeah. Like, I'm ready to eat another round of these. You ready, Mike's Mike? not. Trying not to touch things. If, if, uh, Chris, if Kristen Bell can do it without taking a drink, I can. All right, bye. It. Cheers. Here All we right. go. Last dab, everybody. Oh, that was right on the tip of my tongue. Fuck. Jay, you go first. Name someone that you admire. All time. Hmm? Good job. Name someone you admire in any industry, and what is it about that person you think makes them successful? Name one thing I admire about someone in any industry, and what makes yep. them successful? Yep. Um. <clears throat> I admire the host of Hot Ones, oh, Sean God. Evans. Um. I think he does a great job as a host of the show. He interacts really great with his um, with his guests and stuff. <clears throat> I don't know if the show was originally his idea or not. I think it was kind of a company wide first we feast idea, but he does a killer job with it. And to eat these friggin' all these like all the time, dude, whew, and then maintain his composure like he does it like nothing, and over and over and over again, which is nuts. But he does a great job of like kind of reflecting what the how bad the guest is the guest is doing like he'll be like oh yeah this one sucks like and then the next if the other the guest isn't doing it like he does, he maintains his composure really well he asks good questions so i, I admire that guy man he's a great host like nice. in a world where a lot of people who host things kind of suck or boring or bland uh he's pretty awesome man like sure. shout out to that guy he should be on like a legit like tv network somewhere making money also that one was not that bad man <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you, you're talking about. I swear to God, I don't know if my it's like my Wi-Fi latency or I'm my eyes are getting blurry. It's your eyes. Yeah. <sighs> um. Somebody I respect, many industry. Jim Henson. 
Nice. Uh, Jim Henson. Why is that? Because he took a simple idea, like making puppets, and uh, has been entertaining children for decades. And adults. To the point now where there is that, you know, so <laughs> oh, fuck. It's just there. Even adults, though. Dude. Yeah. That Muppet comedy. Yeah. It's a thing. Statler and Waldorf, like, that's hilarious to me. They're still hilarious to me. Nice. We know when he's like, <laughs> we'd hate to miss your act. <laughs> We'd love, we'd love to miss, we'd love to hate your act. In fact, we'd love to miss your act. <laughs> like that shit's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Love that. G- Great job, guys. Uh, Jay, it seemed like you. Holy God. Didn't affect you at all, Mike. You do have the vapors. I mean, the last dab was like the hottest one for sure, but it's like I've had way hotter wings before. Did you put wax on your tongue like Homer Simpson? I did not. Okay. Um, all right. Before you guys can promote or give a shout out to anything, your activity is to since we're kind of around the holidays and you guys always talk about this. Oh wait, we didn't do an Instagram deep dive. Did we forget that? I didn't want to do that. Just in the sense of like, <laughs> okay. No. Um, I want you guys to reenact a scene from your favorite movie, Babes in Toyland. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's a great idea. AKA March of the Wooden Soldiers. Sure. Which scene? Yes. You pick it, you guys. <clears throat> um, <laughs> uh, just say the line and I'll follow up. Yeah, I'll try the good one. Fleecy, fleecy, <laughs> fleecy. Um, <laughs> wait, am I Tom? Tom, Tom, Tom. am I Tom? Tom, Tom. <laughs> When he goes, I love this part. When he goes, interested? <laughs> Not even a little? Oh yeah, he just like wants to make out with. You. <laughs> How about um, uh, damn. How about this one? Uh, we know you're down there, Mister Barnaby. <laughs> maybe, maybe. And we'll st- we'll we'll get you one way or another. Even if I have to stay up here all night. You're going to stay here all night? No. (laughs) He doesn't know that. We'll make him think we will. What if we drop a rocket? (laughs) One guy guy throws a fucking boulder. (laughs) He just kills the man. (laughs) Uh, Well done, gentlemen. Well done. All right. Tom Tom. Tom (laughs) Tom. Anything you guys want to promote? Or give a shout out to this camera, this camera, that camera. Yeah. Tell people what you got. Tell people what you got going on in your life. I love when they don't really understand, and then they they're looking all around, and then they're like, um, I don't know, I'm gonna go home after this, and like, <laughs> <laughs> check out the Massive Nut Podcast. Join the Patreon, three measly bucks a month. Yeah. You get double the shows. It's fun. Join the uh, WhatsApp for nine bucks a month. Oh, Christ. And if you like super specific beer shirts, go to uh, tpublic.com slash out of code. Nice. Nice. All right. There's a plug. And go to TikTok at Masters of Show. It's blowing up, baby. Yeah. I will say, um, I don't have much to plug, but I will say, Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, And thank you for listening. The Patreons, the patrons. Love you all. This was a fun way to end the season. Yeah, we'll be back um, in a couple weeks with a new season. Not going to do this again. Oh, God. I want more wings. We have more wings upstairs. There's 10 up there. Sweet. Jay, Dion, Prime Time, and Sanders in the end zone. Thanks again, Mike and Jay, for, uh, well, Mike for bearing through this whole challenge. High stepping in. Yep, high stepping in. For Jay. See ya. For Mike. See ya. See ya. Get me some hotter wings, Sean Evans. Don't forget to leave us a review and rating on iTunes and join us on Facebook and Twitter at Masters of None.
Check out the website, mastersofnone.com. It includes episodes, news, articles, videos, pictures, so much fucking more, man. Check them out. Masters of None. Masters of a fucking excellent domain name. I'll tell you that right now. Right Father too many. Man, they had it, think many. someone had it and they were like, we, we want that. I got it again. You think they had to buy it? I would think, man. Like you said, that's a that's a good name. Unless they got, good. they were going way far, way far back. Maybe they got, they saw that. They maybe got they it. got it. Maybe they got it way back. How far back? Way back. How far are you gonna go back? Way back. As we go around like this. All right, check them out. Mastersofnone.com. Uh,